Be me. 3.5 game. 4 man party in the DM. Want a different campaign. Something goofy yet also epic. Decide on an all bard party because that's a horrible idea. Need a theme. We're all rockers and metalheads. We know what to do. The band is Mithril Wine Cheese. Lead singer is Psyche. Guitarist is Divine Bard of Osmodius. Death Metal. Aka DM. I'm the Dirgesino Bass. Dudum. Last but not least we have Rock'n'Roll. Our Savage Bard Drummer. Let's motor. First gig is in some podunk town in a swamp. Not a big venue but it was in a dark and gloomy place. Figured it would make a good backstory and maybe inspire some cover art for our first album. Decided to give our first performance right in the middle of town. Open with the classic Born to be Chaotic by Warren Wolf. Get a few villagers to come over and jam out. Guards are too sure about our new jams. Getting the village all riled up. Threatened to kick us out for public disturbance. Negotiate and agree to go on a quest to prove that we aren't all. Completely. Insane. Go to hunt down a tribe of bullywugs. Make sure they know we're coming. Blasting vocal haze as we cruise through on a boat. Float our merry asses into an ambush we knew was coming. Float our merry asses straight out of it too. Let the debuffs fly and start hurling alchemists fire all over the place as we blast through the bog. Reign of terror gets stopped by the bullywug chief stopping our boat. Bring it Kermit. Slap the ever living hell out of him with bardic weapons. Burn down the rest of the area for good measure. Turn the boat around and head back to the village. Smash into the dock playing our new hit single The Bards Are Back In Town. Acquire our first groupie after Durham knocks a perform check out of the park and woos a barmaid. Metal complains about the base always getting the girls. Grand tour begins when we pack up our crap and bail on the town. Actually got kicked out by the town council and guards but we didn't like that place anyway. A couple young impressionable peasants join us and become our roadies. Roll out to another town that has yet to hear our message. Decide we should try something a little heavier. Open with enter Sahurjin. Quickly attract a crowd. Start a mosh in the middle of town. Mer already doesn't like us but we haven't done anything particularly bad. Yet. Spend all night playing at a local inn in exchange for room and board. Get up the next day with a mission to go hunt down a hag living in the swamp. Complain about the mission not being particularly radical. Rumor has it she's pretty hot. Meh. Might be a mantic or two. Now we're talking. Off into the swamps again. Slaying zombies and other experiments that the hag has been unleashing on the local area. Leeches freaking everywhere. Muck our way through until we find her hut. Not going in there. Burn it down from a distance. Hag comes out and isn't happy. Tosses off disguise pretty much instantly. Start our practiced battle tactic of jamming out while doing the craziest stunts possible. Blasting Tavern 18 while Psyche goes ham 1 volt 1. Shows off his favorite guitar trick and nearly kills us all. Forgiven as it was fucking sweet. Kill the hag and burn some more swamp because why not. Right as we settle down Rakenel asks where the manticore was. Blasts through the treetops into the middle of us. Try to figure out a plan. Metal says screw that and jumps on its back. Manticore gets pissy and starts flying again. Metal's all alone. Ask him what he wants us to do. Tells us to lay down a fucking sweet song for him. Unleash fly for eternity while we witness the most metal scene we have ever witnessed. Death Metal the Bard of Osmodius was riding a manticore thousands of feet in the air while simultaneously blasting it to death with the magic and force of his guitar shredding abilities. The dice gods looked down at this moment and decreed that it was worthy of their blessing. Manticore dies in the middle of Metal's guitar solo. Rides the monster to the ground. Moments before it crashes he jumps from its back and power slides 30 feet. Didn't miss a beat. Finish the song before heading back to town. Get the scene made into cover art. Go on tour around the kingdom. Massive hit. Parties every night. Legions of fans. Accidentally start a few dozen demon cults. Good times. So I've recently moved Nick Bedia merch over to Teesprings and have a few new designs. Listings are below the video and in the description. Just stop! Just stop it! Stop! No! Just stop it! It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call 
Child Protective Services. It's time to stop.